I think that one of the important things that having a medical degree has helped me to do is to develop programs for our community and, and talk to them from a, a lens of health. My roots are Caribbean, so I was born in, in Guyana, it's the only English-speaking country in, in South America, and so we identify more with the English-speaking West Indies and the English-speaking Caribbean. I identify with the culture, with the food, the music. I went to school I in St. Lucia, I lived in Antigua. The people in my church are from Barbados, and so I am really Caribbean. <laughs> If you speak to people that are from the same community, they're able to identify with you and talk to you in a certain way, and they will say certain things that they probably wouldn't say to other people. So for instance, we like saltfish. We eat saltfish with baked saltfish, with, with different things, with rice and so forth. And I would talk about reducing the salt in that, like boiling it out or, or soaking it so that the salt could be uh, removed. So knowing those things help us to tailor our message to our community. And so it has been great being from the Caribbean and also being able to talk to people from the Caribbean. After medical school, I wasn't sure really what I wanted to do. And someone suggested that I go to the Arthur Ashe Institute for Urban Health because the Institute was doing some program in barbershops and salons around breast cancer. I went there, I met our Zen CEO, Dr. Ruth Brown, and I was employed as program coordinator for the Breast Cancer Community Outreach Program. A stylist shared that one of our customers, after we had gone into the beauty salon, got checked for, for breast cancer, found a lump, and she had cancer, but it was early enough for her to have a good prognosis. So those stories uh, help us in terms of continuing the work, and it really underscores the importance of the work that the Institute does. As a nonprofit, one of the things that is always challenging is funding and getting people to recognize the work that the Institute has done. The Institute does wonderful work, but we have not published a lot, and so that sometimes is, is a challenge. Arthur Ashe was before his time, I think, and he has left a wonderful legacy for us at the Arthur Ashe Institute for Urban Health. Right now, I think he would be proud of what the Institute has accomplished. We have uh, two doctors recently that, that graduated from the Institute. They were for, from our Health Science Academy program, and now they're physicians. Oh, 